I do this pose called doll eye. I can close one eye at a time and still like maintain all function. I've sat in a hair and makeup chair for 15 years. If they're putting eyeshadow on this eye and someone's putting my hair up into a French twist, I want to give notes in real time. Hi Vogue, it's Katy Perry here, and this is my life in looks so far. Dot, dot, dot. Oh goodness gracious. Woo! Here we are on the set of California Girls music video, Johnny Woo Jack. We came up with this concept together, but these shorts are actually diesel jeans that were cut and then bedazzled. Funny story behind this is that I look super tan here, right? Mm. Rarely do I get uh, spray tans, and typically you're supposed to get them the night before, right? Well, I just didn't have time. So I got them the day of my music video. When you get a tan the morning of your music video, your color changes gradually throughout the day. So I just kept on getting like, oranger and oranger and oranger. We had to spend so much extra money on color grading this music video because in one part of the music video, I'm like this color orange and then I'm this color orange in the next part of the music video. Kids, just a little tip, fake tans night before. Aha, this is my very first Vogue cover shot by Annie Leibovitz. It was so beautiful, I felt like Snow White, I felt like Elizabeth Taylor. When I first started cultivating my own fashion, I was 13. I was shopping at thrift stores and vintage stores and I would find these unique pieces from the 40s and 50s and kind of look like a pinup girl and that's how it all started. And then I had the opportunity to wear really nice clothes. I was just like so appreciative. I was letting, you know, the stylist and everyone just lead because of course they knew best and they could take me to the next level. Can I just say the hair and makeup on this was so beautiful and I didn't really appreciate it at the time because I just wasn't used to wearing less. And now I know less is more, although we might see a, another cover in the future that is a little bit more. Let's go. Okay, wow. This look was made by Versace, inspired by Britney. Her denim look with Justin Timberlake at the time. I know you guys all know it, it's an iconic look. It lives on forever. I went with Riff Raff. He wore Versace, I wore Versace. I stepped out of a Lamborghini. My red carpet outfits, they vary depending on what I'm going to or what it is or what the theme is. But I kind of go two different ways. I either go OTT weird and fun and wild and wacky, or I go elegant, evolved, designer, gorge. Ready and... Okay, here we are at the Super Bowl. It's really a ceiling for performers. Playing the Super Bowl was really the most intense feeling ever, but I was like, oh, this must be the feeling before you give birth or when you're on the edge of death. This was a collaboration for the Super Bowl with Jeremy Scott, with myself and Johnny Wujak. It takes after the classic primary color beach ball you see during summer and at the beach. Erin LaRoe, she is my go-to bedazzler. And so she put a little sparkle here and there. She just threw it and it stuck. Ooh la la, Prada, Prada at the Met. Oh goodness, this dress was heavy. The funny story about this is the opportunity for growth for me is always being on time. I was running a little tardy because in the middle of getting my hair and makeup done, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna bleach my brows. Derek Blasberg was actually my date and he's like, no, 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 no. We gotta be out the door in 20 minutes. I was like, no, 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 no. Just slap on the bleach. Everybody, you know, was furiously typing on their phones. I could feel the energy shift. And I was like, don't worry, it's gonna be super fashion and it's gonna make the look. And actually, I feel like it kind of makes the look. This Met Balls theme was fashion in the age of technology. I felt a little sci-fi, like I was like in the fifth element or something. I did have a Tamagotchi 
if you can see it on my belt right there. That was my um, technology, because Orlando had one too. It was so hard. I think it was like some weird drug deal, an hour away in a parking lot. I've got a Tamagotchi, really it's legit, from like early 2000s and we're like, okay, well, we need it now. Something like that. My OTT Vogue cover. OMG, I absolutely adored this shoot. It was shot by Merton Marcus, who I love so much. It was all Comme des Garçons. I was able to wear art pieces. It was at a point in my career where I was really shifting my style. I had changed my hair from black to blonde. It was influenced by one of my favorite models at the time which was Agnes Dean. She had that short, blonde, bleached pixie cut. Her and Annie Lennox. Ooh, here I am at the Met wearing Maison Margiela. I loved it so much. I felt like I belonged in fashion finally. I used to feel like a fashion outsider because like I always was really kind of true to myself. I didn't want to wear something that was designer just because it was designer. I only wore it if it spoke to me and if it helped represent who I was at the time. And I was really this at that moment too. I felt like, wow, I'm in sync with fashion and who I am. And I loved it. This was when I was really involved with the Met. I was asked to be a co-chair. I performed, I had my album coming out. I had just done a Vogue cover. I felt really in the family and I wanted to put my best hooved foot forward. And I felt like I really, really gave it my all, especially with the performance. When you're performing at the Met, you're essentially performing in front of all of your peers. They know what it is to perform and what you can do and what you can't do and what kind of magic you can bring in that room. And I really tried to recreate it and I was really, really proud of it. Okie dokie, here I am with my Annie Lennox hair at the Chanel show while Carl was still with us. I love Carl so much. He would always um, sketch little pictures of me when I would see him. So I have all these like cocktail napkins. Carl Lagerfeld had the most wicked, sarcastic, dark sense of humor, which is my flavor as well. Oh, here we are. I am a Versace angel. What you don't know, I was in the middle of tour. I had just flown in from Mexico. I had like one day off. When you go to the Met, you really wanna like do it up and you wanna give yourself a little break for the next day, just in case you do it too much. Cause it's a big fun party and you're seeing all your friends. I knew it was a heavenly bodies themed at the Met and I wanted to be a heavenly body legitimately. My stylist at the time, Jamie Mizrahi, put together with Versace. These wings were not light. Heavy is the head that wears the crown. I also like to put some emphasis usually into my arrivals to the Met because you're kind of arriving for a while. There's a line. I arrived in a vintage Rolls Royce standing up. I've always thought off the beaten path, but you know, that was definitely something. It was something. Okay, here I am as my favorite Met ball outfit, costume, dress. The cheeseburger was my second dairy outfit. I was a, a chandelier to arrive that had tricks to it and it lit up and it was created by the lovely Jeremy Scott, who I love so much. He also created this cheeseburger. Wearing my own cheeseburger shoes from my Katy Perry collections, which I had bedazzled a little bit. And I've always had this approach to fashion, which is like, it's one of two things. It's either OTT fun, wacky, humorous, or it's like super glamour. Fashion satire-esque. Satirical, actually. I was going to some after parties and I bumped into, literally, Celine Dion and she like grabbed me and happened to be grabbing me where my meat patty part was. So Celine has grabbed me by the meat. Oh, here I am with my love, Orlando. So I was actually being honored this evening as a powerful woman and for the work that I do with my foundation, Firework Foundation. And I was wearing one of my favorite lines, Scaparelli. I just felt glamorous and old Hollywood and very proud that evening. Okay, here we are. I am wearing one of my costumes designed by Zaldi, who is an incredible costume designer. I've worn many of his creations in the past. 
I'm wearing this trash recyclable can number for the section in my residency that's based on being dumped, like in a literal trash can. I do this pose called doll eye. I can close one eye at a time and still like maintain all function. People started going like, oh, she's a robot or oh, she needs to really detox. Just like all this crazy like conspiracy conspiracy-esque type stuff. I've sat in a hair and makeup chair for 15 years. If they're putting eyeshadow on this eye and someone's putting my hair up into a French twist, I want to give notes in real time. Here I am. This is my latest Met outfit. My first with my new stylist, Tatiana Waterford. When we heard the theme, we go, Mmm, gilded glamour. People are gonna go like, maybe with like a lot of metallic or gold or whatever. And I wanted it to be more Victorian, more lace when lace was everything. Got to collaborate with Oscar de la Renta and do this very chic, all about the silhouette. This outfit represented maybe what the underpinnings during the turn of the century could have looked like if you were to have x-rayed a woman at that time and seen all the contraptions. I kind of underplayed this because I had just came as a cheeseburger and a chandelier. And I was like, don't try and do that again. Go in a more sophisticated, you know, elegant, evolved way. And that's how I felt that evening. Last looks, last looks. Oh, this was like last week. Here I am, the Good Day USA Gala for Australians that are represented in the arts, in film, TV, music, etc. I went there dressed in Zimmerman. You go, where am I going tonight? I'm going to an Australian event. So I'm gonna wear an Australian outfit, of course. And I went to honor my good friend and co-parent, uh, Miranda Kerr. She got an award for all that she's done with charity and also with all the different things she's contributed. We are a blended family, a modern family, and we want to help destroy that old narrative. Ex-wives and new wives don't get along. That's not true. We are strong, powerful women and we need each other and we really are there for each other. That's my last look because that was literally like a couple weeks ago. And here I am in Alaya. <laughs> That's my last look, honey. All right, Vogue, that is my life and looks thus far. Thanks so much for coming along. I'm gonna sign this for you. But you should really keep a few pages because we do have a few couple of looks coming up. There we are.